Uh, if the audiences stay tuned and, and the, this documentary, the full 40 minutes, all filmed, the Angle Fly Nature Preserve will be uh, on the local access station right. and even copies in some of the local libraries right, right, that right. if they don't have cable, they can rent the, right. the DVD. Yeah, I'm sure that many schools seeing this probably would request as you say, it can be used as a teaching material. Yes. Uh, it's very, very nice. Okay. Good. So I guess we're going to fade it out with a, uh, another sample from the DVD. Right. And thanks again for having me. And uh, there we go. Activity where we get brown trout eggs from the New York State Fish Hatchery. We hatch the eggs, raise the trout for a period of six months. And this time it was kind of exciting. We released the brown trout into the waters near Selmer's High School. And um, it's a nice way to be part of the ecosystem. Just pull, move slow, but pull, pull steady. Your waiter comes off. You got it, Kate. Worst thing happens is we both fall in. <laughs> Try to scoot out the brown trout from, from here. Oh, they're coming. Are they coming? Even the local news station showed up to interview the students. Summer's High School? Yeah. Tell me, what are you doing out here? I came with my friend um, as part of the environmental club. In the water, I had to put on two big boots. And it, it was a good, ex it was a fun experience, but um, since the water, it, it was really muddy, the boots would get stuck in there, and then you feel like you're going to fall, you're going to slip, and then you can't get the boot out. The neat thing about the angle fly is it has so many different water habitats where it's not only ponds, lakes, or streams, or vernal pools, but the quality of water differs from each. The stream where we're going is very clear water, and there's very little sediment. And with that, it brings a whole new variety of creatures. So that's today's lesson. <laughs> Diversity in water habitat. Welcome back to a Scramble Game Show. Uh, you have just seen a uh, uh, interview with uh, Will Michaels, uh, who is a naturalist. I'm sure you enjoyed it. Now the rest of the uh, show, we we're going to introduce you a new game. Uh, this game is called Scramble Crossword. Uh, as you, uh, oh, if you are a, uh, a frequent uh, viewer, you would know that Scramble games are designed to be uh, easy to sort of uh, learn, but fun to play, and uh, it's also very challenging to your brains. Now, Scramble Word is the uh, first game that uh, we introduced and uh, played uh, by many people, and the kids really love that game. Uh, it's a game sort of adapted the uh, uh, Scramble, uh, the, the Scrabble uh, basic principles, but added with the feature of scrambling, and that's the key, because scrambling allows you to uh, uh, rebuild the vocabulary or the words you, you uh, played and uh, by definition it keeps you uh, producing longer longer words whereas in Scrabble you are limited to seven letters and in a fixed board so the Scrabble word is a very uh, uh, flexible game and based on the Scramble, uh, scrambling uh, feature we actually derived many, many other uh, games, such as uh, Scramble Poker, uh, Scramble Mahjong, Scramble Bingo, and uh, recently we also introduced the, the uh, Scramble game <coughs> to play uh, the chemical uh, symbols as, uh, as a game. Uh, the Scramble crossword, as you probably could imagine, is very similar to crossword game. Uh, crossword is a very big, uh, uh, game to, so in, in the um, media, as you open almost any newspaper, you will find crossword puzzles. Now crossword puzzles is designed uh, uh, with a fixed pattern and a fixed uh, sort of uh, uh, messages or words or definitions correlated in, a, in this pattern and you 
uh, sort of play as a solitaire game. Now, the scramble crossword game can be played as a solitaire game as well, but more interestingly is that you can play this as a group game, uh, particularly uh, several kids or a family can sit together and play. So today, we're going to show you how this game is played. Uh, we have produced a few slides and uh, using our, uh, we call the screen technology to superimpose with uh, camera shots so that we can introduce to you uh, easily from my position. Okay, see right now you have a screen that uh, in front of you, uh, it's uh, giving you this uh, title scramble crossword. Okay, now let me uh, go on uh, to show you how this game is played. Normally you have a deck of cards and uh, you take the deck of cards, you shovel and so on, you start putting down the, uh, the letters and you spell words. Now in scramble word, you spell word, you take it, you own it, and you can steal from each other. It's a very sort of competitive game. The crossword is slightly different. Now we want you to make a crossword pattern, okay? So let's have the first example, uh, a page, to sort of show you how we begin. Uh, if we had a cards like this, you open up, okay? What would happen? Now the first page, for example, um, is four letter word, right? D-O-N-E. That is actually the uh, four letters, suppose if I dealt the, the letters that came up is four letters is D-O-N-E, you can spell it and that will be the word as a beginning word. Uh, of course, uh, uh, I, I don't have these, these cards arranged in sequence really uh, according to these uh, slides, but you have this spelling uh, in front of you now, and the cards are continue to be dealt, okay, to the players or to, to the table, and now you start building the crossword. Okay, let's have the second slide. Uh, the second slide is, uh, um, uh, I can see this is a uh, M, T-O-R added on top of this, D -O, uh, o there, so you have done and motor, right? So that's definitely like a crossword pattern there. You have done horizontally, motor vertically. Now the letter M, T, O, R, of course, were dealt um, as, you know, players that uh, uh, dealt these cards out, okay? Now, if we continue this, See, at the left-hand corner, you see the letters R-O-A-T-M. Uh, uh, we only used R-O-T-M uh, to make the motor, so the A was left, okay? Now, we continue to deal uh, cards, so we'll have next slide show you. Uh, the next slide show you the uh, A is left over, but new letters come up, okay? Now that letter allows you now to make uh, this uh, R-A-N-G-E-S, ranges, uh, uh, ranges doing horizontally uh, from moto the R as the first letter, you add A-N-G-E-S, okay? So this is the way you build the crossword pattern up, okay? Now, I am introducing this right now as, as an illustration, but in, in the real game, you can have two people play, you can have three people play, or you know, as, as many as uh, you know, five, six people in your family all can you know, play. Because based on uh, the beginning letter and, and people start to build words, you can always add letters onto it. Now, you can just do this for fun without sort of com competition or competitiveness that is okay just see how words can be built uh, as a family maybe you know the uh, parents kids all play together but you can also make this game uh, as a competitive game then for example two people play every time you dealt the letters so on and if person able to add to the crossword and uh, building other words or longer words and so on, 
uh, then you will keep score. You'll keep the words that you made uh, on a score sheet. And that way, at the end, uh, you can uh, compare uh, one player made so many words, another player, uh, you know, a list of words. Now, this just on the vocabulary side. If you really want to add more uh, sort of a competition, we can add the math, that is, start counting the points on the card. As you know, these cards uh, has uh, value points and the bonuses and so on and to allow you to compute how many points you get per particular word. Okay, so this is how it is being uh, played. Let's continue on, okay? Suppose now we deal more cards, the next, okay? Now, at this point, uh, this next one uh, had a, a uh, wild card. And on this slide, we use a, a star to represent the uh, uh, wild card, okay? Now, at this, uh, this added uh, uh, letter, I would have to see whether the, the while is uh, representing D or whatever is O-T-T-E-D, okay? Now, uh, horizontally, E-M is the word M, okay? Uh, if you are a Scrabble player, you know these two-letter words are uh, very important. Now, so you add it to the vertical branch, okay? Now, at this point, let me add another sort of wrinkle. In this crossword puzzle game, you can uh, steal a branch. In other words, uh, the letters opened up, say, on the, on the corner that just dealt. And if you use those letters and you think you can uh, steal one branch, for example, this ranges, A-N-G, yes. You can remove A-N-G-E-S, okay, with the newly dealt letters and form a new word and plant that new word onto another place or another branch, whether horizontally or vertically, okay? So this twist, again, gives you uh, uh, ability to uh, make longer words. And also, if you're in a competitive game, you will be able to uh, remove the words that your opponent made and build words you know, for you. So that would be uh, allowed, okay? So let's continue on for the next uh, uh, slide, okay? Uh, um, okay, now, now I know that wild card actually is uh, a P rather than D. I first saw the dotted, actually it's potted. Okay, so why? Because this word the player made is G-R-A-P-H as a graph, okay? So that's because the letters underneath that dealt with R, G-A, and so on, that comes up, the H comes up, so you use them and you do it horizontal. In, in this game, um, it has no limit on how long the word you can make and also no uh, limit where you place the word. So this flexibility is, uh, uh, is fun as well as a challenge because now you really uh, sort of uh, can maximize your score. And uh, just similar to a, a uh, Scrabble pattern that you can make multiple words by placing few letters down. So long that you know, uh, placement is a one line uh, of uh, uh, one string of uh, characters, okay? So, so far, as you can see, we start from done, add it with motor, and then uh, it was ranges, and then potted, and graph, okay? All right, let's continue uh, as if we are uh, dealing with uh, more cards. Uh, next slide, let's say, you know, there are more cards coming up, and then you will try to add another letter to it. Okay, next slide will show another word. Uh, right, um, at this point, I think uh, my <laughs> shirt actually is white, so I can't really see that word so well. It's S-E-L-F, okay, self, okay? So the uh, player, okay, utilized the S and then added E-L-F, 
okay, uh, elf onto it. So the cross we're now so far is sort of growing.